Welcome back to the Interior Design Playbook, expert lessons to streamline, scale, and succeed. In our last lesson, we imported a DWG plan and started our interior construction drawing, the solid foundation of a professional drawing set. Today, we are moving forward with the next layer. We will be creating a furniture and finished floor plan. You will see how we keep the entire process efficient and streamlined by just using one tool. No more hopping between software, searching for furniture, blocks, and materials online. With Rayon, the platform that I've used for every sheet so far, you'll work smarter and faster in one place. So today, here's what we're gonna cover. Stylizing plans with textures, colors, and fonts for a polished and client-ready finish. Furnishing in minutes using Rayon's 10,000 plus block library. Just drag, drop, and customize instantly. We'll organize our presentation with canvases, views, and layers, laying the groundwork for our complete interior design construction document set. By the end of this lesson, you'll know exactly how to go from technical drawings to fully styled presentation-ready plans, all without leaving Rayon. Download the free drawing set template below to follow along. It's fully editable so you can adapt it to your own project and start building a scalable professional workflow for your own project. Let's dive in. So to kick things off today, um, before we dive into this furniture and finish plan, I do wanna explain the difference between um, our model space and our presentation space, uh, what they're called canvases in um, here in Rayon. And basically the difference is that on a model canvas, that's where you're gonna be drawing. Um, that's what, where you're going to be doing, you know, your floor plan, your details, whatever. And they can be on one model canvas or multiple. See, we have multiple set up over here. And then your presentation canvas is where you're going to take those models and like basically dump them onto the presentation canvas. And then you can like use overrides and layers to show different things. So for instance, these three boards right here, right? This is the same floor plan, but it's presented differently. So we didn't draw this floor plan three different times. We're just showing different layers turned on on different types of plans. Like, so for this one, you know, we've got a construction plan. So we're not going to be showing finishes and furniture. Down here, we've got lighting. So we have the lighting turned on. And then down here, you know, we took the lighting off. And now we're just kind of showing finishes um, and furniture. So that hopefully kind of helps explain uh, the model space versus the presentation space. And I do want to go ahead and set up a page with you. Uh, we'll just do it right over here to the side. This should help kind of explain that whole layer override thing as well. So let's just go into our pages over here and hit the plus sign. Um, that's just gonna give us a whole new sheet here. Uh, you can move it around. You can see that there's like snaps and grid lines and stuff so you can make it nice and tidy. But once we select it, we can go over here and tell it what size we want it to be. So these are just all very typical sizes. The other ones in this presentation are A3. So I'm just gonna click A3. Uh, and you can see that it created basically the same size as all of these other sheets. So now that we have our page created here, you can always copy and paste your uh, title block if you want, but I'm just gonna show you how to basically create a new view on a page. So if we go back to our layers panel over here, we can hit the plus sign and then we're gonna go to view and then you can select which model canvas you want this view to come from. So we're gonna tell it floor plan because we're gonna be creating a furniture and finish plan together. And you can see that it uh, brought in this view. Obviously it's a little bit too big for our page so we can scale that down. Um, if you have it selected, you can come over here and just uh, give it an exact scale. I think since this was created in meters, this is going to be kind of an odd shape or odd scale. 11 128 <laughs> to an inch uh, is going to be our scale. So a more typical scale would be like one eighth of an inch, one quarter of an inch, um, or even like three thirty seconds. But uh, we're working with the units here. Uh, by the way, if you do get this, uh, if you do have this drawing template and your units are in meters or something that you're unfamiliar with, you can always go down here um, and oh, let me move me again. Go to length unit and go to whatever you're most comfortable with. I personally am feet and inches, so that's what I like to do. Um, and then it will change all of your units to that, which is really helpful. So now we've got our floor plan here. It still looks a little bit odd. Um, what we're gonna do is hold down our command key. Uh, I am working on a Mac, so it might be a little bit different for you. And I'm just going to basically bring our uh, frame in a little bit because we don't need that much going on here. Uh, we wanna get our legend in there and just kind of scrunch this until it looks right. I think that's looking okay for what we, you know, for the teaching purposes of this course. Uh, so now it, you know, fits on here, but it's showing way too much, right? So let's just pretend that we are creating a construction plan. So we need to turn some of these layers off. 
how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to double click on this view and you can see that actually now I can edit stuff. Um, there's things that are being highlighted. It kind of grayed out everything else. You do need to be careful in here because if you zoom in and out, it will change your scale. Um, you can uh, disable that by clicking this little button right here. So that way if I zoom in and out, it's not gonna zoom in and out on the actual uh, model. So. Uh, what we need to do here is, since we already have a bunch of our layers set up, we need to just kind of turn these off, the ones that we don't want off. So for a construction plan, you most likely are not gonna have light, so I'm gonna turn that off. You most likely are not gonna have furniture. Uh, our areas are basically our finishes, so I'm gonna turn those off as well. Everything else I think we probably have. We've got our topography, uh, the garden with the pool, walls, shadows, annotation. So that's looking pretty right. So once you get all of your layers set correctly here, you can see when I hit done, this is gonna change over here. Right now I'm in the layers of my view, but if I hit done, now I'm in the layers of my presentation canvas. So I didn't affect anything in the model space. I just am affecting the presentation space, like how it's being shown. I love that aspect of uh, RAN because now if I wanted to create a furniture plan, I could basically just, you know, duplicate this and then turn my furniture layers on. So that's exactly, you know, what we did over here. So uh, once you kind of mess around with your layers and get that all set up, uh, your construction plan should start looking like this. So you, you know, you've got your annotations, you've got your walls, you've got, you know, some indication of what these spaces are. You can easily create a legend also. If we go, let's just go into our model space and I'll show you how we create that. So if I go to my floor plan model space, you can see that we have legends already created here. Um, but if you wanted to create your own, all you have to do is just use basically model lines and text to do that. So down here, you know, you can grab your rectangle if we're trying to kind of recreate what we have here. Just draw your rectangle. And then, you know, you'd add in your text. So um, space areas and flooring material. Hit the check mark if you wanna change the size. Obviously you would change that here. So maybe this is like 0.6 or something bigger. Um, you can change the uh, font. And of course, always if you like the style, um, just save that style, just hit the plus button and it will, if you rename it and then save it, it will save into your styles. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of like rinse and repeat for down here. Rayon does have uh, an advanced metadata and properties option. So if you are interested in exploring, um, you know, a deeper method to count, sum, and list your elements in your space, uh, this is where you can add the information directly onto your styles, areas, blocks, and more and then to that helps you create the tables with just a few clicks um, for this lesson we're just keeping it simple and uh, we will touch on the made metadata abilities in lesson seven where we are going to use it to create our smart ff and e tables but again feel free to just visit rayon's basic tutorial series to learn more about metadata for the zoning so i've got a nice fresh blank floor plan for us to start uh, sprucing up here Essentially what we're gonna do is we're going to create zones to uh, start making our finish plan and then we will also uh, use some furniture blocks from the library to uh, create our furniture plan on top of that. So let's start by creating a couple new layers. I am going to create a layer over here called furniture and then also a layer called finishes. You could also call it zones or um, areas or whatever you uh, want, but we will also reorganize these here in a minute to try to uh, get them in the right hierarchy in our layers group because we want to make sure that they're sandwiched between the right layers. We don't necessarily want finishes on top of everything because it's going to hide all of our annotations and whatnot. Um, I'm going to make sure that I'm on the layer finishes and we'll just start adding our zones. So if I go down here to zone, you can see when I hover over a space um, that is enclosed, it will let me create a zone. So I'm going to just uh, drop on this one and you can see that it automatically gave me um, a recent style that I've used but if you want to um, make it your own for instance uh, let's see here let's make it like a orangey color uh, the font can be you know whatever uh, the size you can change like maybe we want that a little bit smaller you can easily change the name if you just uh, double click in there and then like maybe we want to name this bedroom and then check mark that. 
Um, if you want to add any other indicators, like, uh, you know, if you want to call out the material or something, you can always just add in some model lines. So like we could go to our rectangle here and draw a little rectangle, give it a white solid fill, and then you can just add text to it. So you can say, you know, floor covering wood um, or some sort of like spec or something like that. And then once you're done, just check that. Um, of course, if you want to change the size, if you want to change the uh, font, that's all very easy to do. And then it's kind of just a rinse and repeat process from there. So you would just continue to add your zones, uh, change your hatches. So like, for instance, if this is going to be a bathroom, I'm probably going to want a different texture. Uh, maybe I'll go over to the hatches, find something closer to this. Maybe I want to change my opacity a little bit. Um, so it's not so in your face. And then, um, again, just rinse and repeat. If you want to, uh, you know, group this text here, all you have to do is hold down your shift key, make sure that we have them both selected and then group. And then you can easily move those around together. You could copy and paste and bring it into here and say, you know, wood cover covering would be tile in here. So let's adjust that. So wood covering tile done okay and then again up here we would want uh, this to be probably the same as below um, also if this is like a closet or something we can always uh, edit that right over here we're just gonna say bath and then same goes for up here so I'm going to drag or I'm gonna eye drop that style down there because I, I want that style up here too uh, again change the name of this this will also be the bath uh, it's just gonna be a large bath and then uh, copy paste this up here so once you kind of get like your style down you start getting some of this stuff in here it just kind of becomes easy you can just uh, copy paste or reuse styles it's like the setup that takes a little bit of time but once you get that down it's gonna be um, so much easier now once you start getting all of your finishes in I'm gonna turn on my annotations layer really quick just to show you we do need to make sure that we drag our finishes layer down. I'm gonna sandwich it between the walls and the shadows and you'll see why here in a second. So right now it's sitting on top of all the annotations that I've already drawn. But what I wanna do is I want to drag this finishes layer right between walls and shadows. And now you can see, there's another one of our um, tags coming in here, but now you can see that this sits between the walls and the shadows layer and it doesn't sit on top of anything else. And then when we add our furniture, we need to, again, make sure that those are probably either right above finishes or right above shadows. So we can just drag that there now. And that way, when we start uh, drawing our furniture in here in just a second, um, it's gonna sit in the right spot. And you can always adjust these if you need to. Uh, this is where it's gonna be really important to make sure that you're drawing on the right layer. Let's dive into some blocks here. I'm gonna open up Rayon's block library, which is over here. This library has more than 10,000 blocks uh, set up in top view, front view, and side view for your sections and elevations, which we'll get to in a later lesson. Um, you are able to bring in your own blocks, so you can import DWG or PDF blocks um, from you know any vendors that you can find online. You can also draw your own blocks, which I'll show you how to do here in a second. The nice thing too is that you can curate your own block library and then share it with teammates, um, which you know makes it so much easier to like standardize your drawing sets. Um, easier and more accessible. So let's go ahead and just start populating just this little section of the floor plan uh, with some of these blocks. And then I will also show you how to kind of change the style of them as well. So we're just gonna start with this um, bedroom here. So I'm just going to search queen bed, just type, type in queen and see what comes up. Um, so you can see that I've already got multiple different options here. These are all in floor plan. And then down here, we've got some like elevation type things. So obviously we want the floor plan. I'm just going to double click the one that I want and then it's going to put it in my space. So here again, you can see how it's like sitting on top of our information. So we might need to move our uh, layer around a little bit, but I'm just gonna start by rotating it and place it where I want it. That's like the beauty of this is that these blocks are kind of like already grouped together. So you can easily just move them around um, as you need. So 
I can already see here. Let's go back to our layers. So I'm probably going to put the furniture layer below finishes. Uh, and then what we'll do is we need to probably move some of our text. Like, for instance, this one is under finishes, but I can move that group into, you know, my annotations. And then that will end up sitting on top later. If you can't get your layers right, you can also just move this around. Um, right. So, you know, if I know that I'm not going to have furniture there, maybe it makes more sense there. Okay. So, you know, may maybe we want our furniture to be maybe you want it above the shadows you just you you figure it out for however you want your style to look let's populate this with a couple more things let's put a couple of wardrobes over here so i'm gonna go back to my libraries and just type in wardrobe and see what we have um once i find one that i like uh, maybe this one i'll double click it and it will come into my space and then you can also kind of see that this is like snapping so um it's easy to see, okay, this is like sitting against the walls. Um, once you have those where you want them, maybe I want a nightstand, but maybe it's like, you know, a size that I can't find in here. So I wanna draw one myself. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just draw that with my uh, tools down here. So I'll grab my little rectangle tool and uh, create whatever size I want. And then same as any other style, I'm gonna just add a fill. Uh, let's also say that, maybe I want like a little lamp here. I just want to indicate a lamp. So if you want to make these into a block, you can just hold down your shift key and select everything that you want to create a block with right click and go to block. And now that's an actual block that I can come back to later. So that will show up in my blocks um, library over here. So if I X out of that, so I come over here and I can see it there. If you want to rename it, you can just click on the three dots over here and click rename. So maybe it's nightstand enter and then you know I can copy and paste that like I would any other block you know start moving things if I if they're not fitting like maybe we need to move it over here because there's an opening so that makes that really easy you can also add in things like a rug I think they've got them named as carpets in here or again if you have your own block or want to create your own block uh, that's what we can do here so you know you can if you like any of these you can just double click and bring that in here now make sure that in your layers panel obviously this is sitting on top of everything right now so make sure in your layers panel that you go over here I'm going to go under here and I just want to drag this carpet underneath my bed and everything else so then that way it's not um, sitting on top of things and again it's kind of blocking some of our other information here but we can easily move that as we need to also if you you know if there's a block in here that you really like but maybe you want it to be a color or something like that you can always select it and just hit edit and then click the block we are going to go adjust the properties over here and change the style maybe we want this bed to be red for some reason um right and then once you have that uh the way that you want it then you're just going to hit done and now we've got a nice bright red bed so once we have all of our information in here right this is a lot of information but once you've you know started getting your zones and your uh, you know materials and your furniture and any other tags or anything in there, again make sure that they're all in the right layer. And that way, when we go to our paper presentation space, we can click on or you know when you add your view, you want to make sure that you go to override or double click on it, and then uh, that's when you are able to turn on and off certain features. So. You know, if we wanted to turn off the annotations, uh, but you know, we want the shadows on, we want the furniture on, we want the areas on. Now this is looking a much more like a furniture plan, right? Like a furniture and finished plan than our construction plan that we had before. So that's how you easily can just kind of like override and turn layers on and off. Use the same, you know, model that you've built just uh, adjust what kind of what you're seeing. And then you should have a furniture plan that's looking something like this. Nice work today. You just created a furniture and finished plan in Rayon. You styled your drawing, furnished it with built-in blocks, and kept everything organized with canvases, views, and layers. Next up, we'll be moving to lighting plans and fixture spec sheets. So you can keep building towards that full interior construction documentation set. Don't forget to download the free template to practice with. And if you're enjoying this series, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment with any of your takeaways. See you in the next lesson.